Welcome back to Tales of Southeastern Ohio. Come along with us as we head deep into the Hocking Hills to visit glassblower Jack Pine in his studio located a little south of Logan on State Route 180. Let's check it out. All right, well, welcome to Jack Pine Studios. I'd like for you to guys to go ahead and come on in. Welcome. We'll open the door for you. This is a glass blowing studio, and we also have a full fledged gallery. As you can see, we have a wide variety of artwork. The glassware here and all over is actually done by us. We actually do a couple other artisans as well, but we also showcase some metal work and some copper. So a wide variety of artisans work that I've met on the road. And if you want to go ahead and travel around here, you can see a little bit of interesting platters, vases. We have, of course it is uh, uh, March, so we have St. Patty's Day little display that my sister, who also works here, um, just put together for us. So we have a wide variety of work. We do things from a very large bowl and vessel. And then we do all the way down to little birds and pieces of glass. Flowers, they're all glass. They're done here. We have a variety of Jewelry, as you can see here in the showcase, some devils. Um, as you travel around, you can see we carry some butterfly wing jewelry, some beautiful dichro necklaces, really nice marbles behind you. And you can see they have the, uh, the uh, galaxy swirls going on. A variety of interesting jewelry. And we have pumpkins. This is what I'm well known for, is the glass pumpkins. So I've been doing pumpkins for over 25 years, closer to 30 years. I'm from Circleville, so that is the reason why we do all these beautiful pumpkins. That's what I'm known for all over the country, is the best glass pumpkin maker there is. And if you step out these doors, and we can go ahead and see some more work out here. And this is where it's all made, so We've been blowing glass here for over 25, well, I've only been blowing glass here for five years. I've been blowing glass myself for 25 years. And we have this area where you can come and watch the glass blowers work. We have a crew of glass blowers down here. We'll take a walk outside and go to the viewing area here so you can see them up close. This gives you a chance to see all of them at work. Have a little sampling of some of the uh, pumpkins that we're starting to do uh, for our pumpkin of the year. We're trying to figure out which ones we're gonna do this year. You can stay right here and you can see the shot. He's going to shape that. And it's a uh, molten glass at 2,000 degrees. And now he's going to place different color glass chips and powders. As he lays the color on, it actually sticks to the surface. And then you place them into these heaters called glory holes. 
and they melt the color in. Shapes it a little bit and he's going to heat it up and he's going to put some color on the bottom of the chip. So, on the sides. Can you do it one side there? There you go. You can see it up close. And you get that warm. Puts a little more color on. This process will take 10 to 15 minutes. So we have over six to eight um, glass blowers that are working. Uh, we're open seven days a week, except for holidays. He come over here and he's gonna do shape it a little bit. Then he's gonna do some pulls on the surface. Yeah, we blow glass here seven days a week. I don't blow glass seven days a week. I've been taking a hiatus. I've been doing it for 25 years. So I'm now more of the manager.
So it's a teamwork effort. Mike! Oh, there he is. We have different people doing different parts sometimes. Oh, he's jacking the line in there. That's where it's going to be cut off later. His assistant is getting a little rod with some glass on the end of it. And he'll put a punny on it. So a punty is when you attach a little bit of glass on the end of the rod, it glues to the bottom and then you're able to crack it off of the blowpipe. And that's how you finish the top. So he's got the bottom finished of it. It has to be at just the right temperature. He brings it over, lines it up, kisses it. Make sure it's nice and center. So with glass, you always have to keep it warm. If you don't, it will get cold and shatter. So you can only keep it out of that heat for so long. If it gets too cold, it will, it will break. So the whole time you have a glass in your hand, you gotta keep working until it's completed. Then we put them away into these ovens after they're finished to slowly cool down at night. So he's now finishing up the lip. So he's going to fire polish that up, even it up, open it up just a little bit. And then his partner over here is getting a little bit of color glass on the end of a rod. Uh, so he takes some crystal and he rolls it into these different powders. He's going to get it hot. And then he'll bring it over and he'll attach a little uh, thread around the lip. You can come over this way. There he goes. All right, we can come back over here.
there coming in behind us, bobbed or anything? No. Um, it shouldn't, unless it's really windy, then it, it does interfere somewhat, but we're talking about crazy temperatures. It helps the glass blowers. Plus, you got a nice scenery out here in the back to be able to look at. So he's going to shape this a little bit, and he's going to treat the lips. He's going to do little pulls. Sorry. He's going to take the jacks, he's going to squeeze that down and spin it and pull it out at the same time. Test the little stopper to make sure it's the right size. Do just a little bit more tweaking on it. Make sure the stopper is the right size and now he's going to finish it. So he steps on that pedal, makes the silver come out and then he puts a layer of mother of pearl all over the surface. Gives it a lustrous finish. Once he does that, he'll flash it in the heat again. And he'll change the colors a little bit. He'll mat the surface. Once he does that, he'll be breaking it off again over here. And then his assistant has been making a stem for it. So if you want to come over here, you can stand right here and watch it being done. And he's going to put a stem on top. When he gets it hot enough, he's going to clip it. And when he does, he's got to grab it with a pair of shears, tweezers, and twirl that hot glass while it's still molten. And then he's going to make a little loop in there. And that's where you hang the hummingbird feeder from, is the top of that loop. He's going to straighten that up a little bit. And torches it to turn it silver. 
it'll have a nice reduction color to it, I'm getting it straightened up a little bit. I'm Tammy. Uh, I'm, uh, I work the uh, gallery here and um, I'm Jack's sister. Um, so we just, uh, we have a lot of variety of artwork here. This is um, garden art that, that the guys do usually in the spring of the year. Um, so you can, you can purchase them and put them on a rod and stick them out in your garden. It makes a beautiful accessory to your flowers. And we also have a lot of art from other artists, so keeping in with the garden theme, we have the metalworks, um, your different signs and, and pictures, uh, also the wind chimes from various artists, and hummingbird feeders from a local artist, or hummingbird houses from different artists. So then our... Um, our blow area behind behind us here, uh, where the guys do all their glass blowing every day of the week. Um, you'll see more artwork on the sides. Uh, Drawn Metalworks has a lot of pretty interesting um, metal sculptures. And then on into the, the gallery here, you'll see a nice variety of, of artwork from um, glass art from different artists uh, to pottery um, by Luke Chen. Um, these glass mugs um, our guys have made here. Um, there's some little mushrooms getting into the spring theme, so we'll be doing a lot of mushroom hunting. Um, over here you'll see uh, some platters that, the, that Jack um, and the guys have made so you got some beautiful wall hangings um, you'll find them here as well as other areas over around the corner um, Vivano has the beautiful uh, metal works you'll see his pieces throughout a lot of the nature themed birds and trees um, Don Hoff is just a local artist um, he just lives not too far from here so you'll see his pieces throughout um, his copper wall hangings. Uh, over in here, you'll see more of the of the Bavano pieces, as well as some more platter um, display mixed in with with various other artists. Jack's pumpkins, which you'll find a wide variety of colors, um, all shapes and sizes and to the hummingbird feeders, which are very popular in the spring. Beautiful to hang on your tree in the backyard. And then we also have our, our ornaments. Um, you'll see our, our ornaments that we do here along with um, artists from all around. So you have a variety of different types of ornaments to choose from. Hanging ornaments as well. You'll see some more of the drawn metal works, you know, table toppers and wall hangings, along with Don Poff's hands. Those are pretty, pretty popular. More of the Luke Chin pottery. varieties of different glass art from other artists. So then we'll go into the main gallery here.
And then here you're going to see some group settings of the, the pumpkins that, that Jack is known for. Um, his pumpkins are sold to galleries all over the United States. So they're a beautiful accessory um, for, for weddings. Um, it's popular with the white set and um, different uh, place settings or to sit on your table for the fall or throughout the year. Also, there's the paperweights and knives. So you're going to see a, a variety of different jewelry um, to choose from and figurines um, to the uh, galaxy balls and more jewelry in the case there. Small figurines here, all done with a torch, as well as some more metal hangings. Round to the, the mirrors, all handmade. Beautiful sculpted work like the, the fish. The copper elements wall hanging along with the Bavano piece in the center. In this room, you're going to find a lot of Jack's larger bowls and vases. Um, so Jack does beautiful vases and bowls. They have different color interiors. Um, versus the exterior color. So a lot of these will illuminate when, when you enter a light source in, inside. Um, so the interior being a different color from the exterior, the interior will illuminate through the exterior. You'll see more platters and um, displays. This is a two-piece uh, vase that Jack made um, with the help of his guys. So a lot of beautiful, beautiful bowls in the window, um, some translucent, some, some thicker, denser color. And then this is probably his largest piece is his, is his large um, floppy bowl. Um, took him about three hours and, and about three of his guys to help make that bowl. So pretty intense piece. Yep. Yeah, um, jackpinestudio.com, you'll be able to pull up our um, information uh, as far as we do offer glass blowing classes um, where you can make a pumpkin or, or a um, paperweight. Um, so you can just sign up online, you can pay for it and just, just come the day that your class is scheduled. Uh, we do offer different events throughout the year um, as well as a, um, a pumpkin patch uh, glass pumpkin patch festival in September. Um, so if you follow our website, you'll we'll announce like different things that we do throughout the year. We have sometimes we have cars that come in and um, have like a little car show where they'll just park in the side lot and you can come in and shop and look at the, the beautiful cars. Um, just odds and ends, the different events to, to choose from throughout the year.